after <laughs> that kind of presentation and perfection. You heard of you heard of wood, hay, and stubble? This is it. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Vaughn, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes, sir. How come it's Robert's headlamp that's all the attention is being paid to? You're only just a couple of whiskers away from the hairs away from the headlamp yourself. Listen, you sing a song, that'll be quiet. <laughs> Mr. Gillingham mentioned being in Washington with a million men. <coughs> that group of men went to Washington to pray for the United States of America and Canada to pray for revival in North America, to pray for men, home, family. They made promises to be loyal to God, to be loyal to their families, their homes, confess their sins and be loyal to Christ, basically was the focus of the activity for that week. And wouldn't you know it, Time Magazine, a week or so later, made the observation that over a million men in Washington have become a major threat to the women's liberation movement and to the homosexuals of North America. The promise keepers had no political agenda whatsoever. They simply promised to go home and be faithful to their wives and take spiritual leadership in their homes. And some crazy women of Luke or misinterpret take spiritual leadership for taking leadership of the woman and making the woman a slave. That's how misconstrued the world is. It's mixed up. Men by wisdom cannot know good. They cannot possibly understand what took place on the mall. I stood in the mall, there was not a million people there. I wish there had been. I've only been there once visiting on the way back from holidays one time. When I was there, it was just a lot of traffic. Mm. To be there with a million Christians must have been some feelings. You must have been next to heaven. Oh, yes. Amen. You must have had a little foretaste of what John saw. That's right. Revelation when he saw 10,000 times, 10,000 and thousands of thousands standing redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, praising the eternal God. Amen. Yeah. That's the first group that's going to be there, the blood wash. And the only group that's going to be there, the blood wash. And that's all you have to be to qualify to make it is to be part of the blood wash. The hymn writer said, you stake your claim to wealth and fame. Folks of town all know your name. You're just too big a man to ever slip and fall. What would profit if in your goal you gain the world and lose your soul? If you miss it, you miss it all. I'm going to try. Follow us, let's do it in two sharps. Okay. Yeah. 
to hold your worldly goods in store. This very night, your soul may be required of you. Let everything you do and say guide your steps and light your way. If you missed heaven, Thank you.